It was a bank robbery spree that ended in dramatic fashion at a busy Vancouver intersection. Dashcam video capturing the moment police boxed in a man and woman suspected in the robberies. Innocent people were caught up in the mayhem, and tonight, police are defending their actions. Here's Scott Roberts. Look closely, and you can see where it all begins. That black SUV clipping a vehicle and spinning out of control at First and Clark. And then, the real drama unfolds. Oh. That same SUV, an allegedly stolen Porsche Cayenne, attempts to flee, reversing into another driver. Seconds later, at least two police cruisers smash into the suspect vehicle, boxing it in. Then all of a sudden, a cop car just came out of nowhere, just like boom, boom, just boxed them in completely. The suspects, a man and a woman, arrested and accused of robbing not one, but two banks in a matter of minutes. First the Scotiabank at Commercial and Broadway, then the RBC just eight blocks away. He's trying to get away. He's actively put it in reverse, hit another uh, civilian vehicle. And that's a, that's a very dangerous situation. We showed Vancouver police the dash cam video obtained by CTV News. They're insistent that officers did the right thing and were not actively pursuing the suspects when they took off, injuring four innocent people. One of them, a Brazilian tourist, remains in hospital. Were police at any time pursuing this vehicle? No, the evidence doesn't suggest that at all. Uh, the officers were simply in the area doing containment as the bank robbery had just happened. BC's police watchdog is still determining if it will launch an investigation into the possibility the officers' actions contributed to civilian injuries. I felt safe because the cops were there. They came out with guns and the dogs and everything. In the meantime, robbery charges have been laid against this man, 23-year-old Jordan Doddridge, charges recommended against the woman he was with in a brazen crime spree that ended with a bang. Scott Roberts, CTV News, Vancouver.